Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 7 for our FortiGate Firewall training series. In this video, I will be covering about the interface type that are available in FortiGate Firewall. So, in, so we need to understand in which scenario, which firewall uh, or which interface type that we are going to use. Okay. So this is highly recommended video because if you are unable to understand this, you will not be able to design any network. Okay. And also we will not be able to troubleshoot the network as well. So I will highly recommend you to please watch this video till then. Because in this video, I will be covering what is virtual pair, what is one arm sniffer, what is VLAN, what is EMAC VLAN, what is software switch, hardware switch, what is zone and what is aggregation and retendency. Because these topics are very realistic in use because if you are going for any kind of a job opportunity or maybe for an interview or for real time environment these are the interfaces that are going to use okay so i'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till the end so that you can understand this uh, topics and you can use it in your interview as well as in your real time environment and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me so without any further delay let's get started so friends now we'll understand what is virtual pair as the name suggests over here we are virtually pairing two interfaces so let's say this is port 1 and this is port 2 okay so basically what exactly it does with the help of this diagram we'll try and understand so friends as you can see we have a client machine uh, we have l2 switch we have FortiGate firewall we have router which is connected to internet now in which scenario you can deploy FortiGate firewall like the interface in a virtual pair mode right so let's suppose you have already set up your network and you want to introduce FortiGate firewall in your environment okay and you want to uh, check uh, some of the capabilities of FortiGate firewall you have got a demo device and you want to check that okay so in this scenario what you can do is you can configure the interfaces into virtual pair mode so you don't need to give any ip address so there will be no ip address which will be configured over here the only ip which is configured into the management interface because we need to access the GUI of FortiGate Firewall. As we don't have any IP address over here, we don't need to change anything into the network, right? But at the same time, the security policy, whatever we configure and the UTM policy will be enforced, right? So let's say if this client machine from the internet network or from internet if they if somebody is doing a trace route okay as this interface are not in l3 mode it doesn't decrement the ttl value so they'll not come to know whether there is a firewall in the network or not right now I'll, I'll i'll come to the lab as, uh, as well but yeah into the separate video okay so friends now we'll understand what is one arm sniffer so there are two scenarios scenario number one and there is another scenario scenario number two so we'll with the help of these scenarios we'll try and understand how exactly it works and where we can place it okay now let's say we'll just talk about the scenario number one where we will be putting the FortiGate firewall in the sniffer mode basically towards the perimeter area. So basically what happens there will be an access switch uh, there will be L3 switch and this L3 switch connected to router and router is connected to internet like that it is okay. So in this case let's say if you want to understand or if you want to see what exactly going on in your network you can put the FortiGate firewall interface connected to the switch and in the switch 
we need to configure mirroring right so basically what happens is we'll just instruct this switch so whatever you are uh, the receiving port is and the outgoing port is whatever packets come into this just send the copy to this firewall as well now if you go to the monitor section over here you'll see all the traffic even you can see the antivirus traffic it can only deduct in this mode only the deduction will happen there is no protection right because it is just listening your traffic it is not doing any action because if you see there is no uh, interface which is connected in the production environment only one interface which is connected to through the switch which just receives the traffic that's it okay so let's say if somebody is attacking from outside it only detects that somebody is attacking there is no prevention of it right so this is how in the scenario number one how uh, you can deploy your FortiGate firewall now what exactly uh, where you can do that let's say if you want to see the capability let's say you have a demo device and you want to see the capability what are the capability this device is having what are the attacks it can deduct you can monitor per maybe let's say 10 days or 20 days or maybe month or so okay now in scenario number two what exactly happens is let's say this is your uh, network like internet network forty gate and switch then router and the internet okay so now you are putting an uh, for firewall in out of band okay out of band in sense it's not connected to production environment right so basically I'll, I'll explain about out of band and all those design things uh, later uh, coming videos but just now you understand this uh, this 40 gate will be out of the production environment okay so what happens is in this scenario as well we'll configure mirroring into the switch so whatever traffic is coming to this port going to this port send the traffic uh, a copy to this interface as well so let's say if any dos attack happening to this device if DOS attack is happening, will not be able to access the network, but will get a detection warning from this FortiGate firewall saying that a alert gets generated to the dashboard of your monitoring system that DOS attack is happened to your network. Because as this device is out of band, it is not in production it at least gives, gives you an alert that so this is how you understand that there is some attack that has happened in your network right so with the help of one arm sniffer we can deploy or you can deploy in these two scenarios okay so friends now we'll understand the vlans type interface so we can configure the interfaces of FortiGate firewall as a VLAN interface okay it works the same way how an L3 switch interface works okay so if you have any any kind of a L3 switch in your new environment you can replace with FortiGate VLAN interface type okay you can configure trunk as well you can configure sub interfaces okay so basically let's say if you want to configure VLAN 100 and you can assign an IP address same way we can uh, configure VLAN 200 and you can assign an IP address and for these PCs uh, the default gateway will be the sub interface of this FortiGate uh, firewall interface okay so it works the same way okay so as you guys understand how a VLAN works like it creates a broadcast domain for L2 uh, layers so I'll, ex uh, I'll explain about uh, these things in in the lab when we do VLANs okay so friends now we'll understand what is EMAC VLAN okay so with the help of this diagram we'll try and understand okay so first of all we'll understand what is VDOM so basically we'll have a physical machine so let's say this is a 40 firewall and we'll divide this firewall 
virtually into two forty gate. Okay, so I'll call this one as VDOM one and this one as VDOM two. Okay, and this will be working independently. Okay, now this switch is let's say connected to internet. Okay, and I want to extend this VLAN to two different VDOMs. Why? Because I have some VIP users over here, so the traffic will be going through this VDOM. Okay, and some employees will be there, which is going from this VDOM. Okay, so there will I I don't want to create any any kind of latency or something. So I have assigned a separate VDOM. to a vip users and separate for employees okay and at the same time my design says that i want to use a same vlan in that case okay so this will be vlan 128 this will be also vlan 28 as the mac address will be changed so let's say the mac address for vdom2 is aaa then in that case the mac address for vdom1 is B B B something like that, okay. So it will be the MAC address will be changed in that case, okay. Don't understand this is a physical link. This is a virtual link. So basically, only one port, one physical port which connects to this firewall. So basically, there is a forty gate firewall. Okay, this is a forty gate firewall, but we have divided into two parts. so basically emac vlan what exactly it does is it creates a different mac addresses for virtual interface right so this is how the emac vlan works and this is how it is so now friends we'll understand what is software switch so in software switch what happens is let's say uh, this is let's say port number 1 which is connected to internet okay and we have got two ports okay uh, let's say this is port number 2 and this is port number 3 okay and we have one another port number which is port number 4 for mgmt that is for management access okay now i can make this two port as a software switch what does it exactly means over here is this software switch this ports will convert it to a switch interfaces okay and with the help of this let's say this pc is connected to this one okay they will be able to communicate to each other through forty gate firewall so we can place a unmanaged switch over here and there will be only one ip address so i will have a gateway for all the pcs okay and this will be working as a switch okay so whatever the traffic comes to forty gate firewall it process like a switch you don't need any policy over here so basically it will remove your existing switch in your network you don't need it so when you place a forty gate firewall in your environment you don't need to put any l3 switch or something you can put a unmanaged switch over here which you can get it uh, from anywhere okay and then this will be connected to the switch ports of forty gate firewall and they will be able to communicate to each other you don't need a, any any rules of it and in 40 gate if you see i'll show you in the lab like when we do the lab i'll show you when you see in the gui you will be seeing only one interface which is known as whatever name you assign let's say if you assign a name as lan so you will be seeing a lan so now friends will understand what is hardware switch as we have already understood the software switch it is a same version but uh, the software switch will have limited functionality but hardware switch have all the functionality what a switch will have okay so it supports uh, stp uh, whereas the software switch doesn't support it 
so in this what happens is like uh, it also creates a group uh, when you create a hardware switch it creates a group uh, you can assign a name uh, to this one and you can assign an IP address to this as well okay and it works the same way how a switch uh, works over here so uh, when we do the labs uh, it you'll you guys will have more clarity into this so I'll create a scenario and I'll try to explain you about it right now it is like a theory so uh, if you are not able to understand uh, leave it for now but uh, just understand uh, the software switch and the hardware switch uh, it works the same way it is an emulation of a switch what you get in the network environment so we can uh, make a few ports as a switch so that you don't need to get a switch and uh, in, into the network let's say if you have a small network in that case FortiGate will fulfill your requirement okay so now we'll understand what is zone so as you guys understand zone is like a group of uh, multiple interface so basically what happens is like uh, when you want to create let's say uh, port number one two three so you, if you want to group it uh, you can create a zone and you can call in this zone you can call all these interfaces and whenever you create a policy you can call this zone you don't need to call port number one two and three so this is how we can create so we have a lot of flexibility into FortiGate interfaces the way we want we can configure it so there are a lot of features that are available so as per the scenario or as per the requirement we can configure the interface of FortiGate so now friends we will understand what is aggregation and what is retinance okay so in aggregation what happens is uh, we can combine two interface or more interfaces into a single link okay and we can make use of the bandwidth let's say it is an 1 gbps and other link is also 1 gbps so in that case 2 gbps we can use the bandwidth of 2 gbps over here but let's say if one link goes down in that case the only one gbps and the bandwidth will get reduced in this okay now if we talk about with respect to retendency both the ports will be like the both the links will be merged but only one interface will be active if this link goes down the other will be active so it depends on the requirement what you have you whether you want to increase the bandwidth or you want to make the link as a retendency link okay so it, this aggregation is to increase the bandwidth and this is for your backup link configuration right so these are the interface type uh, which are available in FortiGate firewall and you can use it as per your scenario what you are having right now okay so this is very important to understand so I'll highly recommend you if you are unable to understand go and search in Google try to get some information if you are not able to understand from there you can just send me an email I'll try to help you okay uh, this is what I wanted to cover in this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you have any any kind of uh, suggestion regarding my video please do uh, do comment on the video uh, comment section if you want to send me a message you can send me an email or maybe you can send me a message on facebook or instagram and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me i'll see you in the next video thanks so much for watching